Hey y'all, Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. Today we're gonna do a graveside comb arrangement. So this one will be fun. It's a, a special order. Customer wanted some uh, yellow and purple flowers. So we're gonna get that made for them. All right, so I'm using this comb and I like this one because you can set this down into a just a regular vase um, at the cemetery if they have a vase um, or you can put this back on and use it just to stick in the ground they have the special um, shaped styrofoam now for this to fit down in here i've already done one um, i just took my knife and just kind of shaved just a little bit off and then stuck it down in there and voila so you just go about to start right here and then just kind of shave it down a little bit and it's done. So I've taken this off. I've got my styrofoam in here. I'm going to put it down in this white base just to hold it up so that it's not going every which way. All right. So I have these sunflowers. Just going to stick them in like this. And you kind of get an idea of how tall it's gonna be. And I had to cut another one off of another branch. And we're just gonna stick it right here so that there's flowers going around. I kind of want this one to kind of face upward. I will be putting some hot glue on there when I get um, these kind of almost finished. <laughs> almost finished. So I have these and I had already cut them off the bush for another arrangement and did not use them all. So. So these are yellow and purple together. So I thought that would kind of bring them in together. I've got some um, purple peonies. I think that's what this is. So let's see, we're going to cut these away. like this. Get it standing up straight here. There we go. Kind of wanted to go willy wonky on me. Trying to look at my spacing between those to kind of keep them somewhat even. Okay. Now let's put some of these in here. I may actually take that out and just hold it a little bit have these already pre-cut so and I like these little grassy parts because it kind of makes it whimsical and if we need to add more we can I just want to get something down here on the bottom part not cut yet. I just think these are so pretty. And I do get my florals from all different places. 
I believe the um, the purple and yellow came from Sam's Pottery. It's a wholesale. You have to have a wholesale license to buy from them. Okay, let's see. Let me get this one. These sunflowers, I think, actually came from Walmart. And the little purple ones, I believe, came from Craft Outfit, if I'm not mistaken. The purple ones could have came from Sims Pottery, so I'm not sure, but I think it was Craft Outfit. I do get a lot of my ribbon and stuff from Deco Exchange. I do have a link down in the description for that for Deco. They're not but a few hours from me and I've actually been to their warehouse before. They don't have open sales anymore, but it's only online, but they did have a few when I was able to go. Oh, look how pretty. Leaves down. This greenery has a little bit a hint of purple, but it has some white white on it which kind of reminds me of baby's breath. I don't want to get down in here. This will bring in another um, texture. And I like using different textures because the more textures you have, the prettier. It just brings your eye, makes your eyes move around. To look at all the different, the different colors, the different textures, and all the good things. Uh oh, y'all. I bet y'all were telling me that there's tag left on there. I know someone in the comments is going to see that.
customer had requested um, some type of a, a bow on there. So this is a yellow and white gingham. And we've got some sunflowers in there. Let's add a little sunflower. That is um, about a six inch loop. So I just make a loop. Gather it, twist it, and we're going to make another loop. Pinch it. Twist it. Have two loops on each side. Bring this down. at least the same length. It's time to buy more scissors. These are my fabric scissors anyway, which means that's my ribbon scissors, ribbon cutting scissors. But over time, because there's I use wired ribbon, it kind of dulls the blades. I guess I could get them sharpened, huh? What we will do is I think I'm going to do one more for the back side.
So it's gonna look good from the top and from all the sides. And it can go in the ground or it can go in just a vase. I do like these very much so. Well, there we are. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful and a blessed day. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.